Dan Orr, how are you? Good. Oh my goodness. What's wrong? I am so annoyed right now. What right. happened? Clearly, my life here has been so hard lately. Like, I have such a hard life right now. My roommate what keeps it? taking my candy bars. My, it's my favorite candy. Oh my okay, goodness. I bought these, they're really, really expensive, these chocolate thingies oh. that I ordered online. Cost tons of money. Okay, it's like five dollars, but even so, like she knows I like really like that candy, mm -hmm. and she keeps taking them. Oh no! And I'm so annoyed. And now I don't have any candy to eat after my class, which I'm always looking forward to. So now I have nothing to look forward to after class. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I'm so stressed out. Like, are you guys feel that way too? Like life is so hard sometimes. It's so hard here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I do get kind of angry when my sister eats my food too. Yeah. Have you have been to a country in Africa? Never no. Yeah, I don't know anything about Africa. Ever heard about Africa? No, I don't know anything about Africa. No. 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 Okay, today I'm going to tell you a few not so fun facts about Africa. Do you know that the African continent is the poorest continent in the world? And by poor, I mean they have no money and they have no access to basic nutrition and education. This means that a lot of the children don't even have the chance to go to school. And most of them wouldn't know their one, two, threes. So I'm pretty sure that most of them have never folded a piece of paper in half before. Yeah. It's pretty sad, huh? And in 2010, did you know that? 414 million people in Africa were living in poverty. That is a shocking statistic. And quick question, how much do you spend daily? Rough estimates on like transportation, food? About $20. About $20? Like $10 or $15. $10 or $15? Yeah. Well, did you know that most of them live on a dollar and 25 cents a day. Wow. What does a dollar and 25 cents get you? A gumball. A gumball. You don't even get like a decent burger at McDonald's. And they live on a dollar and 25 cents a day. And because of that, one in three people are undernourished. That means among the three of you right here, one of you are undernourished. And when you're undernourished, it means that you are ill. You're constantly ill because you don't have access to clean water and to basic nutrition. You don't get vegetables, you don't get rice, you don't get bread, you get nothing. And some of these people go by for days without eating anything. And yeah, they don't eat because they can't afford it. And there are families who share one bowl of rice. Families of five, six, maybe? Yeah. And over 300 million people there have diseases. So they could be suffering from malaria because of the living conditions there. Quasher cord, which is like a protein deficiency disease because they don't have food to eat and they don't have access to clean water, they don't have access to electricity. So that means going to sleep in the summer without the AC or the fan on. Can you guys imagine that? Before class I was complaining about not getting to my candy bar and wow, my whole perception has been changed. Wow, well they got everything for granted. And yeah. they're grateful just to have that bowl of rice. Yeah. Wow, he has spent $20 a day for Food and you know transportation. Wow, well, that twenty dollars can feed a lot of people. That's amazing. It's so selfish. Yeah. Yeah, it's so selfish. Yeah, so my whole mind is like transformed. I see it stuff so yeah. differently now. Wow. Yeah. I should be more grateful for it. Yeah. You should be complaining about your friends, I think. Yeah. I know. Well, I'm really glad that your perceptions have changed. Wow. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. So. Take this with you, remember this, and anytime you're feeling ungrateful or you think that the world
world is going against you, or everybody hates you, or maybe you're just hungry and cranky because you didn't make it home in time for dinner. Think about the people in Africa and count your blessings. 